I was living in London. Right. He was working on Minsky's back in New York. And I said, you got this will blow your mind. I said, what's these? Never did it dawn on me that with, uh, with, that was Norman's idea totally of trying to do it here. I just said, I said, you want to have some fun? What's this show? You can't believe what they say about the Queen. You don't say what they say about gays. You can't believe what they... I've never seen anything like this on it, too. Sent it to him. He, geez, he thought it was great. He said, well, I think we ought to do tell. I said, you do it. I thought that, you know, there's another one of Norman's fantasies. We'll never get this on the air. And uh, so he started. He started. Well, no, you had, to, you had to acquire the property, didn't you? Oh, yeah. We got an option on the property. From whom? From, who, who, uh, from the uh, agent, uh, Smite. Uh, what was his name? Uh, I don't, can't think of the agent's name. But the, from the from from the from the English, uh, you know, from the author, from the English author, I can't think of his name. Johnny Spite. Still no, Johnny Spite. Yeah. yeah, Johnny Spate. S P E I G H T. Yeah. Johnny Spate. and his agent was Spindler or something like Spindell, I think. Because I used to get them mixed up. But in any event, we got a short option on the thing, and Norman goes plowing ahead, trying to make this thing. And he sells it finally to ABC. To whom at ABC? Uh, to... Uh, it wasn't Elton Rule at that time. No, no, no. It was before Elton Rule. It was... Uh, he's still producing. Tom Moore? Tom Moore was part of it. Marty Stargett? Marty Stargett. Marty Stargett was the, uh, on hand, so on. So he gets a deal to, for the screenplay. I mean, for the to do the script. We did the script. And meanwhile, we're doing pictures, and we shove that in between, and we finally we decide to cast it because now we have a deal for a pilot. And that's when we came up with uh, Carol O'Connor, and we'd had uh, Gene Stapleton in the picture called Turkey, so we knew Gene. We didn't have any the, any of the youngsters to play it. Where did you get Carol O'Connor from? Where did you know? Carol, her? We got him from the uh, from what you do during the War, Daddy. He played that. New Bronx, New York, uh, current. We saw that. We said, "Geez, maybe this guy is perfect for the." For the, we don't know. So we brought him in. He was only a character actor at that time. And yeah, he did great. You know, he was perfect, Archie. You know, he almost looked like how we pictured Archie. Did you know that you were you were plunging into uh, deep waters with this? I mean, did it make was it controversial in in, in England? Very. Very controversial. I mean, I watched that. They only did eight shows. I mean, they were they were thrown off the air. I think they did. I think altogether, in three years, they did thirteen shows. He, they, he, Johnny Spate never did. He did like six or seven, and you know. And I knew we were gonna. I didn't have any belief that it was gonna happen. I'll be very honest with you. I was. I said, "Geez, there's Norman again." You know, God bless you. Go do it. I never thought it would get on the air. I literally never thought, nor did I even think we'd ever get to make a pilot out of it. I just thought, geez, we were going to. When it, when we finally did make the pilot, which I thought was terrific, uh, you know, ABC passed on it. They tested it, it was too controversial. So we went along, did our pictures again, and uh, and then we finally we made a deal with David Picker at UA. He said, "Why don't we make a motion picture on it?" We showed it to him. He said, "It's great. Why don't you make a make an hour and a half motion picture? It'd be very funny. It won't cost too much money. You got a small town. You put Archie Bunker in. What, what's the problem?" Yeah. I thought that was great. So we made a deal with UA. And then Marty Starger comes back again and said, "Do a second pilot. Same script if you want. You know, we love the script, but recast the two younger ones." So. So we said to David, he said, well, do the pilot. You're probably not going to get on. You'll make a couple bucks on that, and we'll make the picture. No problem. Okay. So we then recast it with Rob Reiner and Sally Struthers. Had you worked with either one of them previously? Rob Reiner is a writer. I had worked with him. I did a pilot with him. I mean, I did a, a special with him. And he'd done a couple acting things. And uh, I thought it was a great idea because he argued on every... Line. I never never sat down in a room with a writer that I had so many problems I had with Rob Ryan. I said, geez, this guy drives you crazy. He'll drive, he's perfect, because the guy, Rob loves to, he'll take a point of view, and, you know, he's obstinate. He Did you know his father? Yeah, oh, yeah. I knew Carl for, yeah. And I knew Rob when he was from yay high. So uh, we put Rob in, and he was great. And Sally you got from where? S 
Sally, she we got her. We she had done a couple shows, uh, guest spots on. I can't remember. I think I think the Smothers Brothers. I really first time I ever saw her. But she came in and read with other other people, uh, and we ended up using her. Yeah. At the risk of a very obvious question and maybe an unnecessary one, casting is crucial to the success of anything you do on television or in motion. Picture. Absolutely. I think the most important thing. Once you get a script, you don't have the right casting, you're dead. Most you can't important. be successful with, with, no. with wrong casting. No, you really can't. Nothing can be. They, but, they, they make you look good. Actors make directors look like they're, they know what they're doing. You got a bad actor in, I don't care who the director is. Sooner or later, they're going to say, your guy doesn't know what he's doing. You cannot. Magic is the acting. There's no doubt in my mind. So I got a meeting with, uh, with at CBS with Bob Wood. Uh, with Bob Wood. As I'm walking into Bob Wood's office, there's a, a, a delay. He's running a half hour behind. So I walk over to Mike Dan, who was the president then, and he's got boxes all around. He's moving out. What are you doing? You know, and I always thought Mike Dan was a real terrific guy. And I, and I said, well, you're done, and we did this show. And he said, geez, I, I'd like to see that show. And I said, you would? And I said, yeah. I said, I can get you a, I can get you a print of it. I said, matter of fact, I said, I'll bring one over tomorrow. And I said, I, said, I got a big videotape, which I had in New York at... at uh, MCA, and I said, I'll bring it over and, and uh, you can run it. He said, I'll put it on the system down below. They didn't have they didn't run it on the cassette or anything. Great, so I go, bring it in the next day, 10.30. I've had my meeting with Bob Wood, it looks good. As a matter of fact, he wants me to come back to meet with Fred Silverman the next day. Okay, so I bring in my little videotape early, give it to Mike Dan. He runs it down, has him take it down. And now we're sitting in, the, in his office watching the pilot Second pilot of all in the family, all, and he's oh my god, he's falling down. Oh, I can't believe it. And I, and Fred Silverman's walking by, and he said, "What's all going on in here?" And he looks in, he watches for about two two minutes. He said, "What is this? I've never seen." Anything. I said, "It's a pilot." He said, "Hold everything. Go back to the beginning." So Mike Dan picks up the phone, calls down the man. He said, "Cut it off. Go back. They roll it back to the beginning." And Fred Silverman sits down. Watches it, says, I gotta have this. I'm this thing going on CBS. I said, Well, I don't even know if we can get it from ABC. I think I think we own it. I said, he said, Well, I don't care. I've we've gotta have it. The next thing I know, we're all in the meetings with Bob Wood and then the Bob, Bill Paley. Can he put it on his network? No, you can't say nigger on my network, and you can't say yid on my network. I'm not gonna do that. And and much to Fred Silverman's you know, uh, and Bob Wood and and went through CBS. I must say they had some great. We we never changed three words from the uh, from the first two pilots, and that was the first show that went on the air.